essence to use on all of your equipment. Now meta could mean the most popular thing. It could also mean what the best players are doing. And in this case, it actually works for both. If you guys aren't running the exact essence stacks that I'm gonna teach you for every single weapon, then you guys are almost in a way playing the game wrong. There really is no way to play it wrong necessarily, but there are advantages to running things the way that I'm going to show you. Now, the way that I'm doing this is I made brand new equipment right out the gate. A brand new hunting dagger, long sword, I made a brand new pickaxe and ax, and I obviously excluded the shovel, and I also excluded the crossbow because I don't use either of them. Now my comment section actually brought this up, but being extremely organized is one of the best things that you could do in your Lego world. And something that I did was I put these two little chests directly next to my essence table. Now this makes it a lot easier for me to know exactly what I'm going to grab out of these chests for specific weapons. So putting chests next to your essence tables or near your workshops or near each piece of equipment will make life so much easier for you because I know if I'm using the essence of damage, I need rough ruby and blast core. If I need essence of luck, which I'll talk about, I need rough sapphire, rough amber, and rough ruby, and that's directly next to the essence table. Now I wanna talk about the ax first as this is probably the easiest one to understand along with your sword and dagger. For the forest axe, all that you guys want to use is essence of damage. The essence of luck is nice because it increases your rate of chance when it comes to getting extra loot for something that you're breaking. So example, if I break a grasslands tree with the essence of luck attached, I may get more logs than I originally expected. However, when it comes to the axe, getting things done quicker is much better because you can't really run out of trees. And we'll get to that when we're talking about the pickaxes and things like that. But when it comes to the overall axe, the purple axe with three times essence damage on it, you will nearly one shot every single tree in the grasslands, including those extra large brown trees that are found in the deeper wooden areas. If it's not a one shot, it's a two shot. And that's also really nice. And with the patch to the sword and now the dagger not being able to do as much damage, the axe has now become the most valuable way to get your uh, logs, which was how it was intended to begin with anyway. But now when you go into places like the dry valley, it only takes two hits to get some of this wood from these cactuses, whether it's the smaller cactuses or the larger ones, it is two hits for the small cactuses, which still gives you a really solid amount of wood. And then also the larger ones, I believe are three or four hits to get all of the wood out of them. So max damage on these absolutely works best because once again, you're not going to run out of cactuses. You're not going to run out of the frost pine trees. You're not going to run out of the grassland trees either. So either way that you're doing this, you're always going to be able to maximize your time when it comes to your ax on these trees just by using the max damage. Now, when it comes to your dagger, your sword, and your pickaxe, this is where things kind of get a little bit different than what I've seen some people running in their games. The essence of damage times three on your dagger and your long sword is by far the best way to do things. You one shot just about everything inside of the grasslands, inside of the desert valley, and again, is like a two or maybe even a three shot. And when you get into the snow biome, things take a little bit longer, but imagine fighting inside of the snow biome and not having a long sword that does 18 damage or a dagger that does 21 damage from behind. Things would take you forever to get those done. And understanding that more damage may still do a little bit of durability, you're actually going to be using the weapon less if you're doing more damage. So putting the three times on these is by far the best way that you could do things. Now, when it comes to the pickaxe, I've seen a lot of people running the essence of luck on these. And that's actually not a bad idea because as you guys heard earlier when I talked about the trees, you'll never run out of trees. However, the issue inside of caves is you may just run out of blast core in some of your caves. You may just run out of sapphire or run out of ruby. 
or have a tough time finding all of those items. So the best thing to put on one of your pickaxes is actually just going to be the essence of luck so that you can get multiple of these rare items in the game that may not come back. Now, you could also make, and I highly recommend this for the little trick I'm gonna show you today, is to make another pickaxe and do three times essence of damage on it so you actually have two pickaxes one with max luck and one with max damage. Now I wanna talk about this cheesy little trick that I found out. I tested this on a piece of sapphire. I wanted to see how many times with my essence of damage I would have to hit a thing of sapphire in order to break it on its own. And it takes three hits, which means if I hit this rock, twice with the essence of damage and then I switch to my essence of luck I can then finish it off while it's a little weaker so that's what you could actually see me doing in this video is breaking these rocks with the essence of power and then finishing off the rocks with the essence of the luck now when it comes to this it's again not guaranteed that you're going to get luck every single time we know that right it just increases the odds which is nice but again you guys can see i actually break some sapphire rocks strictly with the essence of luck pickaxe and i don't get anything more than what i normally would have and the reality is that i'm just using more durability on this pickaxe that i may not have to use if i just used my essence of damage i would have finished these rocks off much faster and i wouldn't have wasted as much durability but again the difference is if we go ahead and we use the essence of damage a little bit more and we weaken those rocks when we hit the rocks ultimately with the essence of luck we should still trigger the essence of luck and that will actually give us more sapphire or more iron or more ruby or more bright core just from weakening the rocks from this trick. Now you guys can see I actually do pull it off in one of these rocks right here, where again, I switch from the essence of damage over to the essence of luck. And instead of just getting two of these, I actually get four of these, which is extremely, extremely nice to see happen in the game, that this trick does in fact work and having it work makes this so much easier. It takes up an extra item spot, of course, which is obviously pretty annoying, However, if it does work more often than not when it comes to different items in the game where you can weaken them with your essence of damage and then finish it off with the essence of luck, that is really nice. So I two hit this originally and then I go and I find that there are four sapphire in there with my essence of luck, which again is kind of tricky and glitchy to do in the game. Now when it comes to the long sword and with the dagger, you guys decide what you think kills fast. Fastest. I think that the dagger is by far the best. You do have the 21 critical damage that sometimes will trigger even when you're not hitting from behind, but it does seem like the longsword takes just a little bit longer to load up when you're fighting, where when it comes to this dagger, you guys could see outside of me getting hit by multiple people and missing on a bunch of shots because the cursed skeletons actually ran away from me, we were actually able to kill just a little bit faster with the dagger than what we were were originally when it came to the longsword. Now I'm interested in knowing what you guys are currently using on some of your builds. It took me until somebody mentioned in my Discord server that they were using the Essence of Luck and finding extra Ruby and finding extra Sapphire and finding extra Bright Core inside of their hits when using the essence of luck. I went ahead and I tested that look when it comes to the essence of damage weakening a rock and then using the essence of luck on it. And that seemed to have worked extremely well in an, actually getting us some of those rare items to drop just a little bit more often. So I think that you guys should all try that out for yourselves and see if that works for you. Again, it doesn't work every single time. However, it works enough where it does become worth it because you're actually doing less durability damage on both of the pickaxes, which means that you're getting a little bit more value out of it than what you may have originally thought. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Comment what essences you guys are using on all of your materials. That way we can all kind of discuss it and really see what the community thinks is absolutely the best for everybody.